Yankee shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. To keep the Krogan in check. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flight, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Come <laughs> on. 
stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. That's an incredibly powerful bomb, potentially unstable as well, given its age. We have to hurry, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. We're too close. Servers will be back to stop us. I'm afraid you're right, actually. Servers will stop attacking to start a war. trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Clear! More troops, Shepard!
We've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. What will the Primarch say? His son gave his life to get the job done. That's all that matters. I guess you're right. I'm getting tired of seeing people die. You know, Shepard, this reminds me of Vermeer. Of Caden. Yeah. I was thinking about him, too. It's been a long time. A long time. I can't believe he did it. Just jumped down there with the bomb. He didn't have any other choice. It was that, or let it go off. It almost reminds me of... Vermeer. Yeah. Didn't you hear us on the shuttle? Sorry. Guess my mind was elsewhere on the shuttle ride back. It's not the same. I know that. And I've seen friends die other places, back on Haystrom, where Shepard rescued me from the Geth. But this wasn't being killed by enemy fire. This was... Someone giving up his life for the mission. Just like Caden, back on Vermeer. How do you accept that, knowing that a teammate died for you? Would you have done the same if you were guarding the bomb back on Vermeer? To stop Saren? Yes. If I had to. One day, it'll be your turn. And everyone who's ever died for you will be watching as you get the job done. Thanks, Ash. Sorry to bother you. Anytime, Tally. Hey, Shepard. You got me thinking, Shepard. With everything always going so fast around here, there's hardly time to reflect on any of it. But what Lieutenant Victus did? Well, I just miss Caden. Thought I'd stop by and let him know. Put in a good word for me. I will.